Hi guys, I've made yet another version of this plane and it is awesome, downright awesome. I had so much fun flying this. And as you can see here, it's, uh, it's outside and it's a calm summer night, almost perfect conditions to fly such a, a lightweight plane. And it was just a, a great, great session. One, one, of, one of the best outdoors flying sessions I had with, a, with an indoor plane, you could say. Um, that same morning though, uh, things were not as great. This is um, um, an earlier version. You can see the, the wing looks differently. I'll show you in a second uh, the, the, you know, the details. But first I gave it a, a, um, a thorough test and I did conclude that I couldn't really control it. Enough lift, but definitely lacking some, um, some stability and some control. Um, yeah. Huge control issues. Yeah, so that kind of sucked, big time. Um, and it sucked because of this wing. Um, this is just a completely flat wing. No poly, no dihedral, no nothing. It's just uh, straight. And that means it has no self rightening properties. Uh, it adds no stability, clearly. Um, so that's something I need to address or add ailerons, which could also be an option. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to add wingtips, strong wingtips to create that much, much needed stability. Anyways, this wing is my lightest wing so far. It weighs 5.5 grams and it's much stronger than my previous ones because it has the unbroken spar, carbon fiber rod, much, much stronger. Also the trailing and leading edge, uh, unbroken Depron. And um, the one of the things that helped me build it at just 5.5 grams are the spars, which is, which is now made of 2 millimeter foam and not 3 millimeter like last, but also been very much, much more aggressive in the weight reduction. So this is, um, I couldn't go much um, lower in terms of um, material to use because I needed something to, to work with at least. So this is, uh, this is, I think my best ribs so far, but my worst wing. Um, but I'm going to add wingtips to give the necessary stability. That said, um, I've also changed a couple of things. Um, I've used two millimeters for the tail. Same design, design as last, but two millimeters too soft. I'm not going to use that again for the tail. It sucks. Um, but it save a bit of weight though. I've changed the wing mounts. I've previously used rubber band to attach the wing. To the, to the body here, but this time I'm using these hooks, which where I can just slide the wing into these hooks and then save, uh, save away the, um, the rubber band and also saving some weight. The whole plane weighed, weighs 29 grams, which is kind of cool, uh, except that it doesn't fly very well. <laughs> now, the last thing. I've been stating that the Razer Star 0603 is the smallest brushless motor in the world. Um, that's incorrect. I apologize. I've gotten received several comments um, uh, regarding that statement, but I thought it was. And you know what? Hey, the good thing that came out of it was this one. One of the users told me that this is the, the heavy model 0702, which is 0.14 grams lighter, I believe it is. It's, it's a bit lighter. Um, so that's awesome. Plenty of power for this um, for this plane. Now there are also other brushless motor out there, motors out there which are even lighter, uh, but they're not that easy to get your hands on, and they're not made for RC. So at least in terms of commercial availability and made for the domain of RC, this is the lightest so far. To my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it would be sweet if I can. Save some, uh, save, save a further weight because I don't need all this power. I really don't. Um, anyways, I'm going to um, add wing tips to this wing and see if we can get some stability into this plane. I think it'd be cool. So I added wing tips and rammed the plane directly into the curb. So that was intelligent. Then I decided to reprint the motor mount and try again, and then not aim directly at the curve. And then I just took off sideways because there was a very light breeze. But the plane kind of flew. I still made a 
safety landing. No, not true. I just landed. Anyways, as I walked back to my starting point, the whole thing was just alive. The tail, the wing, everything was just jello. It was really, uh, it was really bad. So I decided to do absolutely nothing and just fly it anyways. And I'm happy I did because I, I could see the potential. Even, even at this stage, I had these moments just like this where I thought, well, this might actually work with a bit of um, bit of tweaking. So I decided to um, to lose the two millimeter tail, and then add three mil from my last iteration, and glue in a carbon fiber strip to the trailing edge of the wing to make it um, to make it stiffer. And um, yeah, then I was ready for part B. And now we're talking. You think I'm about to crash, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Nope, I kept flying and controls were good. It was stable, but the controls weren't perfect and I, uh, I figured the CG was a bit off. I had to move some weight to the front of the plane. So this time I made a controlled landing, loosened the servos, um, the battery, put those a bit more to the front, and then I was set. And I had a couple of awesome, awesome passes. Also, the air was more stable. It was a half an hour later, maybe. Yeah, and then I almost hit my second camera. Oh, it was my iPhone, but you know, <laughs> cool clip. But I, um, I really enjoyed these last couple of, um, of, uh, of rounds or circuits. And this patch of grass, it was just such a bliss to, uh, to fly it. It was really, really awesome. I also rarely have these uh, uh, weather conditions. It was just so awesome and I'm really looking forward to try it indoors where the air is completely stable and I can move the CG uh, a bit more to the front. But man, it was just, it was so sweet. I'm so pleased with the result, super pleased. So as I was all high on, um, on flying, I was not really paying that much attention to um, the static obstacles here. And so I almost crashed into the hedge. I actually touched some of the leaves that were moving when I passed by. <laughs> so that was um, very, very lucky. So I took another, another turn. And one should have expected that I've learned from my mistake. But no, I crashed into the hedge. All right, guys, here's the wing. Massive wing. Can't even fit it into the screen here. 115 centimeters and now weighs 10 grams. Um, that extra weight comes from the wingtips. Each tip is about 20 centimeters wide. And they have just glued them in with a depth strip in the bottom to create the necessary angle. Um, what I've also done is I've added this carbon fiber strip here in the back. It's three millimeters wide, perfect for three millimeter depth run. But only, it's only 0.3 millimeters uh, thick, so it weighs something like 0.9 grams. But it, it fixed all the issues that I had with all the instability. It's still flexible, the wing is still flexible, but not too much. It behaves uh, really well. Now, it's been reinforced here in the, the two center spars because they broke when I had a rough, rough landing. So I glued in some extra spars, not, not in a very nice way, but it was necessary for me to... Um, to continue flying with it. So it's it's about 10 grams now. I am considering to glue another 
a strip here, carbon fiber strip into the front, uh, just to make it a bit more crash resistant and make it even more stable because it's going to break. This step one is very delicate and will break eventually. So yeah, probably going to be just fine anyway. So the plane weighs 33.5 and it's going to weigh yeah 34.5 if I do that. So anyways, this concludes this video. I've had loads of fun, awesome flying. And um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed, enjoyed the project as much as I have. If you liked the video, I would highly appreciate it if you gave it a like. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. And that's all, guys. Cheers.